Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage and my hand very naked. So it is a new year, so new year mean new gloves. Let's go ahead and chop off the fingies, shall we? Together. I might regret this. Oh oh man. Where's the other glove? Well yes, basically cut off the fingies. I don't know why I need a reference. Let's just do it. Get it over with. Oh, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. This might be my last glove that I own in this color. So maybe I'm crying a little. We know how old these gloves are that I've been hoarding for the last several years. They're as old as AC Moore because I got them from AC Moore when they were still a thing. Could you imagine if I kept the thumb? All right, let's try it on. See if they're short enough. See if the thumb is going to bother me. That is good. What do I do with the fingies? I don't know. Sometimes I play with them and then I toss them or give them to Chi. Who knows what's going to happen to them. And for reference, here's what the old glove looked like compared to the new one. This is actually the like palm part. Just flipped around because it's on my left hand instead of my right hand. But look, that is gross. That is why we need new glove. Today's video is us going to be comparing different eraser types. Now, they are all different brands, but I'm not comparing their brands. I'm comparing what they're meant to do. Like, this one says it's dust free, um, and this one does not remove ink, and then we have this one that does remove ink, specifically India ink, and then we have this crazy electric chargeable one. I went and visited Blick recently and saw all these amazing erasers and I wanted to try them all. I did not get anything but these erasers, that's why there's not a haul video. Now I actually did own this one beforehand, but uh, I wanted to compare it anyways because I wanted to have something to reference when I did the um, magical electric rechargeable <laughs> eraser. Uh, I did see these in Blick though, so. First and foremost, we're going to be taking this one out of the package and charging it while we test out all the other racers. And it comes with many things. That is a 20 pack. It has smaller erasers and larger erasers. I wonder if I can change like the, the holder piece there to have a finer point. That might be what that little black piece is, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and point out everything we have. We have the Pentel Flick Eraser. I thought it was a Papermate one. It's a Pentel one, which is also another like uh, pen brand that I believe have like brush pens or something that artists use. I'm not sure. I can't remember right this second. Okay, it's an eraser and it does this thing. My eraser is very small because I use it a lot, but it has an eraser that comes out like that. And I put it away when I'm done. Then we have the Faber-Castell Dust Free. Can we focus? Yes. You can't read what the rest of it says. Let me see. Dust free erasing for all black lead pencils. I'm excited to see what dust free is. I kind of doubt it means particle free. It might like come off in clumps or something instead of like little specks for easy cleanup, but we'll see when we get there. And then we have a Karen Dash. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. That's how other people have said it. And this one says non-abrasive pencil eraser it does not remove ink. So I'm hoping that means I can do my inking and do the erasing and it doesn't affect the ink at all because I have that problem where I go and I erase everything and then suddenly my lines aren't like pure black anymore. So I'm curious to see how this one- oh god. Oh, this one's gonna work out. Then we have this tiny little Blick kneaded eraser. Uh, I got the smallest size that I had because we all know how much I hate kneaded erasers. They're just so gross and I don't like the texture of them, but I got it because I couldn't do this eraser video without getting something Blick branded because this is where I got everything. It just didn't feel right. So I got the teeny tiny little baby wavy Blick kneaded eraser. And then we have the Prismacolor Magic Rub. It came in a pack of three. I was hoping to just get it like one so I don't have three of these in case I don't like it, but they were pretty inexpensive to be honest. It was like $3 for the set. And it says Magic Rub Eraser. Vinyl erasers that are designed to erase delicate drawings cleanly absorbs graphite and erases India ink. Latex free, in case you're allergic. 
let me know which one you're the most excited about finding out how it works in the comments right now go go and say something right now i think for me i'm interested in seeing it erase india ink and also erase cleanly without disturbing my line work first we have to have something to erase So I'm going to use my mixed media cans in here because if I use um, my sketchbook paper, that paper is like almost transparent and see-through. I don't think the tests are going to be fair on that kind of paper. So I'm going to use my mixed media paper instead. All right, so I pulled out the materials I'm going to be using today to test out all these erasers on. And we have the India ink, the HB and the 8B and a cool erase in red because that is one of the harder colors to erase in my opinion. So let's go ahead and doodle something. Okay, so here everything is, it's not like aesthetically nice looking. Um, it's gonna be like, does it erase? Does it do what it, say? it says it does, all that. We're gonna start with the kneaded eraser just to get it out of the way because ew. So kneaded erasers are supposed to lighten the lines and not necessarily get rid of them, but they have the capability of getting rid of them if you so desire. Yeah, it definitely lightened. That did too. Good so far. Ew, already. Ew. And the red, not so much. I see it's a little bit on the needed eraser though. Let's try to purposefully erase now. It works a little bit more on the red with the intent of erasing. But I would say it works best on HB. Moving on to the dust free. It should, in theory, not create any dust. Let me like kind of flick off because I did erase a little bit with my crappy pencil eraser here. It doesn't work that well. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, uh, that's still dust in my opinion. Um, maybe it's in bigger clumps than normal. Maybe it did erase really well though. Move on to this one. I have some trouble with darker leads, which spills creating dust. But it is a really soft like feeling when I'm erasing. All right, now the red. Did about average for red. And it's still created dust. So we'll compare it to the other dust erasers that don't claim they're dust free. Because maybe it means it comes off in bigger clumps. Not necessarily that it actually is dust free. All right. We have our Pentel. I know how this one works. I use it all the time. Um, it's like the par average, you know. Oh, we should have left those shavings there. Like, this does give smaller shavings. This one sucks with the, the dark pencil here, the 8B. And um, probably, yeah. I'm guessing it means it's bigger dust. But anyways, it is very subpar. You can get these in Walmart. Like, I'm not surprised. Now we're gonna do this Karen Dash one where it does not remove ink, but I'm hoping in theory it keeps the lines nice and dark. It's very rubbery feeling. It's a lot harder. Well, not a lot. It's definitely harder than the uh, dust-free one. All right, let's see. I agree. It does keep the lines nice and dark. I should try this out with a regular liner though, aside from the India ink. So we're gonna go in and erase this now. Rub it a little. I would say that looks the same. What do you think? I think it looks the same. So I think this one does the job it says it does. And here we have the magic rub. I wanted to save this one for last, but the electric um, eraser was not ready yet. So, 
Go ahead, let's give it a try on the with the pencil. Now, if you ask me, <laughs> that very much looks like it did not erase the ink. But let me look at the packaging one more time. Absorbs graphite and erases India ink. That do say India ink on it. Hmm, I'm at a loss for this one. Let me know if you know how to get this to work. That's a, like quite disappointing, to be honest. Let's see if it'll erase this. Oh, it is kind of lightening up this. That's not India ink, though. That is archival ink. That could be India ink. I don't know. So I guess my conclusion is it'll work with liners and not necessarily like, uh, like inkwell types of India ink, even though this is archival ink. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not India ink, but... I feel like it would say it maybe on the pen somewhere. I don't know. I'm at a loss. And it doesn't really like fully erase it. It just lightens it up. So if you make like a tiny mistake, it might be okay to erase with this. But otherwise, I'm thinking it works like a regular eraser. Now let's get out our electric eraser here. All right, here we go. I'm scared. Turn it off, turn it off. Okay, here we go. I'm scared with the noise it's making. Oh my god. Holy crap. It's be erasing. That's like the best. Let me turn this off. Hold on. I cannot I cannot talk. That's like the best anything has erased so far. Look, it's almost like just a shadow of what it used to be, like compared to the other ones. That's crazy. Try the, the HB. Still trouble with the 8B, but I think it's the best out of the results we've had. It has a lot of eraser dust. Now, this is where I feel like the dust-free one is considered dust-free compared to this <laughs> just happened all right let's let's go on to the red i will be absolutely shocked if it like erases the red splotch almost perfectly like it did up here Wow. Okay then. Um, here's all the dust created by it. Let me just get rid of that. That is amazing. Like, I'm not, I wasn't expecting anything to work on the 8B. I just wanted to test it for testing sake. But that's like amazing, the cool erase. Red is like one of the hardest colors to erase in my experiences. I like, that's such a difference. This is my normal everyday eraser that I use. Look at it. Like, it's almost gone. It's just still there because I didn't erase it fully. Let's take care of that now. Like, you you can barely tell it was there, and that's amazing. And I think that this Derwent Electric eraser is totally worth the $35 I paid for it. I almost didn't get it because I never pay that much for an eraser. Um, this has, like, a whole machine to it, though, so I thought, okay, okay, fine. There's like a like an electric part and it's rechargeable so you don't have to like waste batteries or like worry about batteries, I guess is the better way to say it. Let me clean up here and we'll, you know, do the final results, I guess. All right, I'm gonna rank all the erasers starting with the least. Uh, okay, so the worst one out of this group here was the Magic Rub. It does not erase India ink like how I think it should. It might work on smaller details, like if you have like a thin liner that you're trying to get rid of because you accidentally threw the pen, whatever. It happens, okay? I know it does. And then next we have the kneaded eraser. It works how it should. It's like 
you know, it, it's, it does what it does, and I can't stand it. It's gross. Then we have the Pentel Click Eraser. This is one of my everyday erasers. I don't think it's a great eraser, but it helps with sketching. And usually when I'm sketching, I'm not entirely trying to get rid of something most of the time. When I reach for this one, it's more like I'm just getting rid of a line. That doesn't necessarily have to go away until I'm done with like the inking and stuff. Then we have the Dust Free. Uh, it is called Dust Free, I'm assuming for marketing reasons, not necessarily because it's dust free. It erases pretty well and it's a softer feeling eraser and it like has a smoother feel to it when you erase. Uh, it's not dust free, but it makes the dust clump in like larger pieces so it's easier clean up and it's not everywhere. And then in second place we got the Karen Dash. It erased really really well. Uh, and it left the ink like it said it did, like at its darkest color. You can't tell now because I erased this, but up here it did a pretty good job. And in first place, I bet nobody's surprised by this really, is the Derwent Electric Chargeable Eraser. It erased almost cleanly, like you might not be able to tell that it's there certain angles if you did something really dark you know so those are my thoughts and opinions let me know what you thought about the erasers in the comments below that is going to be it for me today if you want to check out another cool video where i compare things you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here if you want to catch up on anything you missed you can go ahead and tap the thumbnail here i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to do all the cool youtubey things of comment liking subscribing and turning on that notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.